This is my book, Great Green Lies. This is the English, and this is the German. So we wrote this book to make three points, essentially. The first is that the environmental movement has been hijacked, because we used to have a movement that wanted to protect, more than anything, we wanted to protect wild beings and wild places from destruction. And that was what we were attempting. And then along comes this other problem of global warming. And bit by bit, over a decade or two, that movement, a very honorable, very brave movement, got hijacked. And now the only issue seems to be global warming. And the solution we're being offered is, well, we need to keep this way of life going. We just need to find another way to fuel the destruction. The problem is no longer the destruction. The problem now has become, how do we continue to fuel the destruction? And we think this is completely backwards. It, we actually want to save the planet. We don't want to save this way of life. And it's this way of life that's the problem. So that's what needs to be critiqued, and that's what we need to be revisioning, is the way that we're living. Um, so that's the first problem, is that we've gone completely off the rails in terms of what the final goal is. Um, I don't want to continue this way of life. I want to stop it, because I would like to have a planet at the end of the day. The second problem is that these technologies that are being proposed, so-called green, renewable technologies, wind, solar, biomass, whatever, they're just as bad for the planet as burning fossil fuel. They're bad in different ways, but they are just as horrifying. They involve just as much destruction as burning fossil fuel. And in fact, none of them can be done without burning fossil fuel. These are some of the most destructive industrial processes that humans have ever invented, and they are energy intensive in their own right. They will not save the planet. They will only hasten its demise. So the technologies themselves have got to be questioned, and honestly, we have to stop doing them. They're horrible. So we have a chapter on each one, so good luck getting through that. And then the final point is that even if we were going to be using things like solar and wind and whatnot, none of them scale up. You're being lied to. You're never going to power an industrial economy using solar and wind and biomass and whatever. This was a one-time blowout industrial civilization. It depended on fossil fuel. It can't be done without diesel. And those are just the facts. And they're lying to you. This is why it's called Break Green Lies. It's not called, you know, silly stories that you're... No, they're lies. You're being lied to. I don't know why they're lying. I, I don't really understand the psychology here. But just basic math, run the numbers, you'll see. Um, it can't be done. You're never going to use solar and wind to, to power the level of energy that's being consumed right now. So all three of those things have to be faced, and faced soon. Um, but we do have messages of hope in here as well. Nature is incredibly resilient. The planet still wants to live. Life does want to return. And if we just let that happen, I don't think it's too late. So um, I hope you will read the book. And I'm always available over email. You can find my publisher, my website. I'm happy to dialogue more with anybody who has questions. So, bright green lies.